Hello, Selfa Evolutioners. Happy week two. Well, how are we going this week? I have heard some amazing things from each and every one of you along the way. And please don't ever think that any question is ever too silly. If any emotion thought is ever too beyond sharing, <laughs> just know that the more that we contribute to each other, the more we learn to elevate together and the more our experience becomes expansive and and the more you'll get from this so today i'm going to actually i did a slideshow for you so exciting um and so today we're going to go through a bit of a slideshow around our week two uh and going through our priorities and all that we're going to enjoy so i hope you enjoyed this as much as i did creating the slideshow but bear with me because technology is something i am learning <laughs> So week two uh, of the self-evolution and beyond. I want to talk about first why you're not allowed to do this with 100% accuracy. You really can never, ever eat an elephant more than one mouthful at a time. You are not allowed to do this with 100% accuracy because ultimately if you try and go all in straight away, you'll reach, you'll create un, un desirable expectations of yourself you will set your standards too high and what can happen when we do this is we rob ourselves the ability to enjoy the process eat that elephant one mouthful at a time and to build an intimate relationship with yourself and the process and the journey of which you're embarking on i mean let's look at it if you went on a date you don't necessarily appreciate someone running to third base straight away you kind of want a little bit of a relationship, a little bit of whining and dining first up. So please remember along this process, we want to make this intimate. We want to make this sensual. We want to make this friendly, fun, interactive. And basically we're here to make this a long-term relationship with yourself now and your greatest self in alignment with your DNA. So please, please, please do not set an expectation to get this 100% perfect. You are an incredible human and you will have wonderful days and you will have terrible days. You will make wonderful choices followed by terrible choices. You are completely normal. You are completely human. And please know that that is absolutely divine on your journey. This is your journey and not anyone else's. So let's get into it. What are your current beliefs? around getting healthy, losing weight, having more energy, being more focused, success in your life, time, change, things like motherhood, fatherhood, building a business, another business, or spending time getting healthier, whatever it is. I would like you to look at these that I've laid out here in front of you. Maybe you have another one. And I'd love for you to decide or share with us what is your... Um, what is it that really is your main point? What is it the what is the one that your mind feels the most stunted on or that your progress is being slowed upon with this point? If there are beliefs under the surface that are not of your highest service, then it is time to bring them to the light and release them with love. I'd like you to write out your most common thought or spoken words around this. So now let's look at doing the work. And I really credit Byron Katie's work with this. What is your most aggressive belief to do the work on from our previous slide? Now, when we write this one out, I want you to really think into it, feel into it, look into it and everything it means for you. Is it really true? So some of you might have written, losing weight is hard. I can't lose weight. I'm too busy. I don't have enough time. I can't do this by myself. Whatever it might be. Is this really true? Then I want you to ask yourself, can you absolutely know that this is true? Write it down. How do you know that this is absolutely true? Can you actually know that this is absolutely true? Take your time on these, by the way. <laughs> now I want you to ask yourself, 
How do you react? What happens when you believe that thought? How are you showing up believing that thought? Who do you be? Who would you be, sorry, without that thought? Who is the human that you would be if you weren't thinking that thought and reacting in that way and behaving with those beliefs? Would you be happier? Would you be more balanced? Would you just enjoy the moment? Would you show up for yourself and do the work? What is it? And if you want to go deeper on this, this is the baseline. And if there was multiple things that came up for you in this, I would actually urge you to sit with a piece of paper and go over each of those points and ask yourself these questions again. These four questions uh, changed so much of my perspective and on my life and everything I was creating and how I was showing up. And it really has changed everything for me. And I know it can for you too, but you have to be willing to do the work. You have to be willing to really step into this and really own the aspects of your thoughts and your beliefs and how you choose to show up. Now let's just quickly jump into a few reminders. Have you done your weekly check-in sheet? It really should only take a couple of minutes to just check in, give it a score from 1 to 10. How are you feeling? I guarantee you when you're having a bad day or everything seems like it's a bit much, you'll get to a point where you feel like you may not be progressing very well. And this check sheet will actually allow you to reflect back over each week and realize you're actually doing really well. Next would be, what are your little wins? And I'm going to do a post about your little wins. Please make sure this week also that you've actually done the Kaizen post in this section of the units. Please reflect on that. It's very important with everything we've mentioned today to know that this is a Kaizen process. All the little tiny bits, the baby steps along the way. You are not getting this perfect. You are learning, progressing and being aware. With your little wins, what are they? Did you have an extra serve of spinach each day? Did you manage to not have a can of Coke? Did you manage to sleep in 15 minutes? Did you manage to drink an extra glass of water? What are those things? When you had that little win, what did you actually do to achieve it? What did you do differently to what you've done or been or had in the past? Have you had these wins before? Like, have you, have you gotten to this point and you've made these changes? Did anyone else notice the change in you? Has anyone noticed you feeling better, breathing more, doing, drinking more water? It's really important not to just go, yeah, I won, I did this thing. I want you to go deeper into that and really feel into the thoughts and emotions that come up for you around that. And just finally... And obviously, guys, sorry, and, and obviously go through and comment below this. So jot down your bits and your pieces and comment them below the unit. Share them with everyone else. I guarantee you it's not just for you. This will be motivating other people to do the same. What are the elements of it? We are all, all elements of every other health type. And I really just want to quickly check on this before we close out the night. Imagine that you are a colour chart a straight line with different lengths of colours, uh, of coloured beams representing each of the six different health chart, uh, types. Just understand that each and every one of you has a specific percentage of each different health type that makes up who you are. But there is no one else that has those percentages too. Therefore, you will resonate with certain aspects of each of the different health types at different times, dependent on your environment, dependent on your hormones, all of these things. You are a unique human and there is no one else with the same percentages as you. So as you go through this and you realise there's things you resonate with about another health type, pay attention to them. What are they? Share them in each week if you notice something coming up. There will actually be certain aspects of your profile that will actually be uh, specifically accredited to a specific health type that reflects the way that you process that aspect of who you are. And these are the things I look forward to in the group coaching call starting in January.
If you've already joined in January, please make sure you are share. If this is January, you're listening to this, please make sure you're sharing in the weekly calls because these are the incredible conversations we get to have that really light up the fact that we are all incredible humans and you are unique beyond anything you've ever imagined, but you are incredibly important and your genius was meant to be leashed into the world. And that's my journey and my goal here with you is to show you just why, just how incredible you are and all the wonderful aspects that you have to share with the world that maybe you didn't know before. This journey is wonderful. So please make sure you've done your week two, gone through the PDF, had a look at the cool video, understanding how to delve into that aspect of the app. Share the little wins, the, little, the three little things for this week's priority. What are the three things that have come up for you this week that you were like, whoa, what, that's me? How the heck did it know? Or maybe... You might have three things on there that you're like, you know what, that's stupid. Or, you know what, I don't think that's relevant to me. I don't gel with that. I don't reflect that. Whatever it might be, bring them up. They're awesome points of conversation. Love the journey. Remember, Kaizen, one step at a time, one little bit of the process. And don't worry. Have a great day, a great week, whatever part of the time you are watching this.